Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Gaslands TV. Today I'll be doing my first Gaslands TV team, which is um, a team for uh, a sponsor that I'm working on, a fan created sponsor, I guess. And uh, this is what I'll be using this truck here and the other four cars there. Um, I want to mention that I'm also printing some 3D cameras and stuff, so uh, I'll be getting those out on my Etsy page soon, if you want. And you'll be able to use these for um, for terrain, I guess, or for decoration. Um, but some of them are actually for uh, rules also, so if, you, if your car passes by one of the cameras in short range, uh, you get some votes and stuff like that. So if you want some more information on that go check out the gaslands tv facebook page and uh, if, if you're looking for some of these dishes these uh, satellite dish i'll be i'll be having them on on etsy soon so first off let's get to it uh we're gonna open these hot wheels or matchbox and uh, to do that i'm gonna drill out the uh, underneath rivet here it's always good to do this if you are planning on opening up your car i mean you could primer an entire car without opening these but doing this gives you a lot of options um, it allows you to paint the inside really easily uh, it allows you to remove the windows if you don't want to use them or if you want to use them or recycle them as as other bits which I'm going to show you how to do later on um, even if you want to trade tires from one car to another like you know maybe on on this car I don't want these tires and I'll probably use them on another car. Like the front ones are too small, so I'll probably trade those in for 3D printed stuff. Now, um, most of these cars already have the color that I want, so I won't need to prime the body. So I'll keep that aside. And uh, the chrome stuff, I'm going to obviously have to prime. And uh, the inside of this car is pretty cool. It's got a roll cage in the back, little rally car here. Um, I like the color of that one, so I'm not going to prime that one either. Um, then I have this car here, the window I'm going to have to prime because I'm, I want to change the windows completely. But for this truck here, the back wheel doesn't make any sense because it's like super thin. What is it for? Maybe a bicycle or something. I don't know, but I'm going to change it and, uh, you know, put an actual wheel there I'm going to have to cut that out. Uh, this is going to be my equipment van for the Gaslands TV sponsor. And uh, I don't I'm, I don't like the window on it, so I'm gonna change that, and the uh, the tires too. Gonna use these 3D printed tires. Uh, if you don't have these, you could use tires from other Hot Wheels or other things that you've bought. I'm gonna probably put a ram in the front here or on top with, with some guns. Use this ram in the front. Uh, before gluing anything, always, you know, just see how it would look on the car and if you really want that. Um, I'm going to also attempt to paint these before gluing them because I know that sometimes gluing a part on a car and then trying to paint the car is, is annoying having the part there. So I think I'm going to just do everything separately and then at the end glue everything together. Try to figure out a way to have this and the dish on top of the truck here at the same time. Uh, it's going to be hard to glue that without it falling over or something. So let's see what I could do here. My wife got a, a craving for uh, McCain cake, but we couldn't go out to buy any because of this pandemic. So. She actually made some homemade McCain cake. Yeah, lucky me. See, I might put these tires on this. I'm not sure yet. You know, you want to protect the equipment van. Put some spikes. Just scare off the other cars from smashing into it. Now this thing on the roof is not going to hold for sure. So I'm going to just put this thing in the back of it. It's supposed to be a computer panel but you won't see the buttons so nobody's gonna know well, except for you guys for the window here I'm gonna remove this, this part here and uh, 
you could use some of these windows as rams. Let's clean them up a bit and you could use like the bottom to glue underneath the car and you know gives you a RAM. Which is pretty cool. If you don't have a 3D printer or whatever, you could use those those windows for that. And uh for this car I think I'm gonna use this RAM here and maybe put a chain at the end of it or something. Some guns in the front. Might put the dish coming out the back window here. I don't know yet. I like the window, so we'll see. For this car, I might use this gun here. Um, maybe use the window from another car to do some protection in, in the side window. And we have some missiles here come out from the back window. Let me see if that actually fits. Always test, always make sure everything fits, even once you close the car, and it does. But launching a missile here and getting the fire in the back of the head is probably not the best idea, so that's that's out the window, literally. Maybe have some pipes, exhaust pipes coming from the sides there. I don't know what I'm thinking here, putting an engine on the roof. My brain's not, not thinking straight. Uh, it's too big of an engine to go in the front there. It's gonna look weird. It's bigger than the actual hood. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put that. Let's put a camera on the roof. Yeah, no, it's time for me to eat. Gotta eat. Because my brain was just not thinking straight there. Not coming back to work fully fully fed. Gonna start using a filer here to maybe remove some of the stuff that's on the car here. If you don't like, if you don't like a sticker or some something, you could use a, a filer here. Scratch it off. Now, um, I had a hard time choosing which song to put for this video, so I put both. You're gonna hear my kind of westerny music in the background, and then it's gonna switch to my uh, kind of synth wavy song. So it's gonna go back and forth. Best of both worlds. On this car, I didn't like the orange, so I'm going to scrape off the orange, but I kind of like the silver. So I'm going to try to keep the silver there. This is making a mess, obviously, on the car. It's going to destroy it a bit, but, you know, that's the point. Don't want, don't want perfect cars. I mean, gas lines, right? Um, so some of these are plastic. You can tell here by when you remove the screw. Some of these are metal. So on metal, maybe there's an easier way to remove these than not use a filer. So I have this easy strip. First time I'm going to use it. So it's going to be a product review at the same time. I guess it's just a liquid that you shake and put it on the, uh, the paint that you don't want. Hopefully it's not going to remove all the paint and maybe just the, uh, the decals. So let's see how this works. I'm gonna use a Q-tip here, one side to put the paint on or paint remover, and then with the other side, I'm gonna see if I could clean it off. That looks like it's working pretty well, and it's not touching the actual paint of the car. So if you buy a, a Hot Wheel or a Matchbox that's metal, and it might work on plastic too, I, I'm not sure. But if it's metal, uh, this easy strip thing works pretty well. And it also, uh, if you don't wipe it off all the way, it's also uh, going to give you some, some weathering at the same time, which is pretty cool. Now with the filer, I'm going to remove some of the paint that's on the handle here. Make it uh, silver. It's just a few things to give some detail. You could also uh, scrape off you know, the, the edges and stuff to make it look uh, weathered down here. You 
You see the, uh, the paint was a little bit removed, a little bit chipped there. This you could obviously only do with metal cars. Plastic won't work. So you could use it to, you know, get some highlights that are on the car that are visible and you want them to show more. You could use it on the, the grill here, front grill. I'm just gonna pass it all the way in the back over here, all over the place, where they were damped. Just do some damage to it. Now I uh, I primed all the pieces individually, primed them in, in white, and I primed the, the inside of the cars also, because the chrome look just doesn't, doesn't work for me. And uh, I'm going to make the seats brown and the engine silver. Now since my silver is out, I'm going to basically put everything that should be silver, I'm going to paint it silver. Um, I'm going to do the engine here. I like to work on five cars at a time, max five cars at a time. Because, you know, once you have your paint out, you, you could paint all the pieces that you need of that color and then go to the next color and, and so on. So now for this, this truck here, my equipment truck, I'm going to make one side purple and the other side aqua and so I put a tape there in the middle and I passed it diagonally just so I don't get any uh, purple on the uh, the other side use you want to use paint uh, paint tape also so that when you peel it off it's not gonna damage anything underneath or pull the paint with it I'm gonna make the roof purple this is what I mean by doing a bunch of different cars at the same time. You have your color out and, you know, sometimes you, you pour too much of it and you don't want to waste it. So I'm going to do the blue part. But the blue is not perfect, right? It's not the, the real color that I want. It, it's not matching the aqua of the rally car, so... I'm gonna add a bit of green in it. If you could see the car is more green than the actual blue there. So if you put like one drop of green in the blue, it's gonna give you that nice aqua color. You just wanna mix that in until you get the color you want or close enough, you know? So that's a bit better. So now I could do the, uh, the other side of the truck, same blue as the rally car. And I did a lot of that paint, so with the leftover, I'm going to paint the antennas here. Got a few antennas that I want to do. Now for the inside of the car, instead of going brown, I'm going to go with neon. I think the neon's going to pop right out from inside this car. It's going to give it a nice look. This looks like it's going to take a few coats. So that's my first coat. Did the inside of a few of my cars. Then I did a second coat there. I really like that, that white line. That's going to come out of me removing this tape here. I mean, if I wanted to, I could just clean the line up a bit. With the same color of paints but uh, i think i'm gonna go with a fade i need to reproduce that that blue again so put some of this uh, blue and this drop of green here and i'm gonna just fade it into the purple if you want to see more detail on how to do fades i did another video on fades so you could go check that out after this it was it was really hard to do this fade because it's on a diagonal so your, your brain kind of plays tricks on you so sometimes you need to 
if you bring some caffeine or some tea in your favorite mug minus this capsule corpse mug because it's big a lot of stuff goes in there a lot of a lot of caffeine basically I'm going to put the purple here and on top of the blue. And when you're doing a fade, it's just it's just playing around with the paint until you get something that you like, something that looks good. It's really hard to do a fade between a dark color and a light color like this. But eventually, you know, you could get something kind of like this, which is not bad. You could use a sponge too. Sponge also helps to... Uh, Put the colors together, giving it a fade. Can't wait to get my airbrush. Now, for the inside of the cars, you could always use these silver sharpies here. Uh, they're they're actually really bright and they paint really well on on actual paint. And you could do little details super quick, super easily. And uh, while I'm doing this, I want to I wanna give a, a shout out to someone. Uh, I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if the person wants to, but someone in the comments wrote that he, he loves my videos and he watches it with his, uh, with his kids on the TV. So a uh, shout out to you guys. Um, I've never seen my videos on TV. Maybe I should try to see, open up my Xbox and see... Uh, See if I have the YouTube app on there or something. And see how my videos actually look on, on TV. Hopefully they're high quality enough for you guys to enjoy. So uh, thanks for watching and thanks for that comment. It's pretty cool. I'm glad that uh, even even kids are watching my videos. I never when I was doing these videos I didn't think about you know people watching them together as a family and uh, I'm really uh, really happy to know that that my videos are doing something for people out there um, now let's go back to these the windows and these dishes so I'm using metallic aqua so you can see the difference here between the metallic and the regular and I'm gonna make these windows a metallic aqua which are gonna hopefully pop and I'm gonna use it on this green part here I didn't, I didn't like the, the green too much, it's too green. So I'm going to add some blue to it like this. And try not to damage the springs I did there. And I also have this metallic purple, which I just got as well. I'm going to open that up and see how it looks. Looks pretty cool. Metallic and shiny. Uh, it's going to be hard to go back to normal paints. I think I'm going to have to buy all my paints metallic. Because, uh, yeah, it looks a lot better. Unless you're looking for the actual matte look to a car, but metallic is pretty cool. I'm going to add it in the back here just to make it a bit more different and less flat. And I'm going to use the metallic purple in the front here try to fade that into the, the matte purple it's all really just testing and playing around with how far you want to go with with the other color that you're putting on top of this and that that looks like it's coming along now when i put the base i realized that the white is obviously showing so i'm gonna have to paint that it's gonna be hard to match the actual color of the body but i think it's gonna give a nice look to have a little bit of a different blue there now the ram of this car is obviously wood so i'm gonna paint that in, in wood and leave some of the metal showing and what's cool with wood is when you only put one coat you you get like a pattern and the pattern could you know look a little bit like wood without doing too much effort 
So when you're painting wood or anything, just one coat should be enough. If you want to go into detail, you could even paint your steering wheel. I'm going to do this one blue. Put some details over here on the, the truck. I think those are ropes and maybe some lens or grenades. No idea. And I'm going to use a toothpick try to do a few of the detail and for the rope I'm going to use some mag mahogany this is a different color so it's not all the same color change the details up a bit for the chain I think I'm going to go with blue metallic aqua blue on the chain and for the tip of the chain, maybe some metallic purple. And I'm going to put my second coat here on this car. Take a little break. If you guys can guess what this is. Another dessert my wife made. And if you guess creme brulee, that has not been turned upside down, then you're right. And I'm going to finish that off with a coffee from the Mrs. Brown's Boys, which is one of my favorite shows. Love that show. I mean, you have to watch it with subtitles. Uh, the accent, the Irish accent in there is super hard to understand, but it is in English. So if you have Netflix, maybe you could check out Mrs. Brown's Boys. It's pretty funny. Um, I'm going to do the inside here with the Sharpie, silver Sharpie. Super easy, guys. Like the details. I mean, you could go more into detail, but I mean, not that many people are going to look inside your car to see how, how much time you have on your hands. Uh, I'm going to do the, the grate here in the front also, because when you put it back on, you actually see it. So with the Sharpie, I just made it silver and it works. Now I bought these, these new things here. Let's try them out from... Uh, I got these on Amazon. They are acrylic paint pens and markers, I guess. You gotta shake them. Step one, shake them. Step two, you gotta push the tip in to let the air out. Uh, first time I'm using these, so we'll see how they how they work. And to see how detailed I could actually go, I think I'm gonna do a stripe on these seats. Uh, I know I'm doing something super hard with a product that I just got for the first time but let's see how that that works out not bad my camera is auto focusing on my hand but there you go let's see pretty uh, pretty cool something that would be maybe harder to do with with a brush but I mean, if I could do that with the pens, um, imagine what I could do on the outside of a car. So that's probably going to be my next video. Just fool around with those pens and see what I could do. Right now I'm just putting a wash, which is like a light ink or light... Uh, it's like a black but very liquidy and it goes inside the creases. So I put that on, on engines and stuff. It's called a wash. Not not trying to be uh, mansplaining, but, you know, that's what they're called, in case you don't know. And uh, these tires here for this buggy are just, they're not doing it for me. So I'm going to clip these tires off and change them for something else. I think I like these ones. These tires are from another car, and they look more rally-ish, I guess. I mean, they have more rivets, more grooves on them, so gives the car a traction look, like it has more traction. Now for the front of this, I really like that inside, it's really making the car pop out, um, but it's still not damaged enough, I have to damage the car later. I'm going to check now, maybe these, uh, oh! 
Have some after eights. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. I think I'm gonna put the chain on this thing now. It's dried, it's painted, and um, it's really hard to work with chains. Uh, even after they, they're painted, sometimes they don't they don't feel as uh, malleable. You have to be careful when you're working with them because paint's gonna come off them right away. But uh, I mean, I measured I measured it first and I cut it, so it fits perfectly. Let's damage this car up a little bit. Uh, all you need is silver, uh, shiny silver or metallic silver, and just chip off some paint. Wherever you think, you know, on the edges, it's really good to put some silver there. It's going to damage it up a little bit. And for those of you who know me, I never know when to stop. I just keep putting it. I should limit myself, like, you know, maybe five blotches per side or something. But, uh, yeah, so once I did the whole car here, I went all around, put some silver a bit everywhere. Looks pretty banged up. Not sure if I'm gonna put any rust on that. Uh, so here you're doing it on the on the, the van, and uh, I like putting it in the in the lines here, like the lines of the doors or wherever there's a metal meeting metal. Put some silver in there, and then just shake it off a little bit. Get that damaged look. Put it on the edge over here on top. Bring it down a little bit. Maybe do some around the hinges of this, this panel door here. Now if I had a color printer, I'd print my logo in small and try to find a way to stick it on this truck. But uh, I do not have a color printer. Eventually, I'll, I'll print some some logos and stick them on here. I'm gonna damage up my buggy, put some silver on the buggy, and uh, let's go back to this Jeep. This Jeep is so clean. I kind of like it clean. Uh, it's it's really hard when you have a nice clean car like this, and you're like, oh, let me damage it up and make it ugly. But you know, I have to do the sunroof. Sunroof is not doesn't make sense like that. I mean, maybe it does. Maybe some sunroofs have the same color. But I'm going to make that blue. Now with the Sharpie, I'm going to put some, some details here on the car in silver. It's pretty lazy, but it works. I mean, I did the handles here super easily. Even the doors, the door hinges. And uh, I noticed here on the back, there's the metal doesn't quite match the front. So again, with the Sharpie, I'm just going to make a line. Done. And now at least it looks like the metal in the front of the ram and the back is going to match. I'm going to use these, uh, these markers here for the light. I wish it was more red, but they look, uh, that color looks like it's kind of lit a little bit it's not bad and uh, I'm gonna use these markers to do a few details here on the satellite dish that's going on top of my truck I really like these markers if you guys uh, have some money and looking for things to use for details markers is it really helps you know like even sharpies I'm gonna do the, the hinges here with a bit of the silver uh, those three little bolts that you see on the side there, I'm just going to tap the, the point on them, make them stand out. And now for the front here, I'm going to use brushed metal, which is a black shiny paint. And I'm going to do the front of the gun here. Dirty up where it, where it fires from. And uh, maybe do a bit of damage here, some silver on the dish, because 
it's way too clean. Put some damage here, all along the edge. And I'm uh, going to have to put some rest in there. I like to use the rest really at the end, end of all my painting. Now for the tires on this thing, since I removed them, I'm going to put these 3D printed tires. And again, if you're looking for any of this 3D printed stuff, check out the, uh, the links in the description. It helps my channel, it helps me continue. And for the uh, wipers here, a little detail, I'm going to put some, some black, some brushed metal. Got a wiper in the back here too, and I forgot to do the uh, back door here with the Sharpie, so I'm going to add some of those details there. And I think I'm going to put this, this thing on top of the car, and this, I'm not sure, I'm going to put it here in the front. No, I'm gonna put it like this, maybe an antenna on top of it, like an EMP blast or something. That looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna dirty this antenna up a little bit. My, uh, my hand is twitching a little bit. You know what that means, right, guys? When you start, like, losing focus and stuff. Yep. Food! This time she made some cinnamon rolls. She's always baking. I'm so lucky. Um, I'm gonna put this purple dish on top of this car and put this thing maybe here. Have this thing also have an EMP blast. I use these markers to try to clean the uh, the mags. Because when you're painting mags, the silver always goes on the tire. So with these markers, it's really easy to clean up the tires real nice and, and then glue them on here. Should have painted the uh, inside of the uh, the truck there where you see some white. Should have put some uh, some paint in there, but I, mean, I don't think we'll be lifting that truck. To look underneath that often and for this jeep it's looking pretty good but this back this back wheel is just wrong i don't know what the hell they were thinking I'm gonna have to cut that out clean up the back here and i'm probably gonna stick a actual tire now again with the uh, same problem as i had with the rally car the bottom has to be painted and uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep these tires, but I think I'm going to switch them out. Also, maybe some big tires, which I got off the buggy, put them on the Jeep. And I don't like this copper look over here. So again, with the Sharpie, I'm just going to make them silver. The sharp, Sharpie has been super helpful during, these, uh, during this build. So I suggest, I highly suggest get some. So uh, those are the tires, pretty uh, pretty good. Put the ones in the back there, and I replaced the front. And again with the uh, the markers, I did a few detailing on the weapons. Uh, super easy to do, really useful. So if you guys want, get those markers; they help. This is the brushed metal that I keep talking about, just in case you wanted to see the bottle. And I'm going to use it on this dish here. Dirty it up a little bit. Um, a broken brush also helps if you're trying to do some random spotting and you're not good at randomizing stuff. The, you know, a broken brush can make uh, the randomness easy. And I um, was trying on maybe doing some ionized metal here. You know, like that purple bluish look that you get from, uh, from too much fire maybe coming out. So uh, what I did is I put some blue at the tip and then some metallic purple all, all around. That looks, uh, looks pretty cool. You know, ionized metal. Again, I don't know when to stop. So I keep putting purple and just put way too much there. 
But if you look at these guns here, it looks pretty good. At the tip of the guns, you could see some purple and blue. I really like that look, and it's two colors, and it's super easy to do. Now, uh, these things need some details, so I'm going to put these bags. There's some bags in there. I'm going to put them green, maybe a light green and a dark green, just to have different colored bags there. There's even gas, gas canisters, so I did those in red. And I'm going to paint the bags here. Super, super hard to paint these details. Uh, I'm going to have to check to see if there's really tiny brushes somewhere out there. If you guys know any good tiny brushes for detailing, please send us the link. We, A lot of our viewers would like to see that link, I'm sure. And here goes, I'm going to damage up this truck. I feel bad, it looks so so clean and so neat, but... It's got to get damaged. Okay, I'm going to put some silver here. And, uh, when Even when there's very little paint on the brush, just go all over the, all over the car and damage it up a little bit. I'm going to put an engine on this one. That too comes in, in, uh, in those 3D bits that I sell, so you need some little engines that you want to add to the car. And uh, it has an exhaust on top of it, so I'm going to do that ionized metal look on top of the exhaust there. And with the marker, I'm going to do the back here. Some lights. Small little details makes a very big difference. Put some, some red in the back here. And I painted my little camera here. Gaslands TV camera. Stick it to the side of the truck to take some footage. I had these two gas canisters. I didn't know what to do with them. Let me put one on the side here. Um, I feel like the red was going to ruin the, the, the theme or the look of the cars. So I just put it on the side of the equipment van. And um, he was pretty innovative. He used the wing of a car to uh, stick on the side there and to hold those those canisters up and uh, here you can see I added the rust a bit of rust which is a uh, dry rust effect from more paints these guys should pay me I keep mentioning them I mean uh, it's free product placement for them but hopefully it helps you if you're looking for some easy rust method uh, that works pretty well I'm using it here uh, you see it inside the, uh, the dish and a bit on the side of the car this time I, w I was good this time I didn't put too much of it you know just enough to make it look a little bit more realistic put some rest in there and that's the uh, the ram which is actually a window from a car from a car that uh, I removed the window and that's the ram and this is the buggy I use the marker to do those side dots, which are really tiny to do, but the markers really made it easy. And this is the, I think it's called the Poison Ivy from Metalworks or something, Metal, Metal Cars, I forgot the name, but I know it's Poison Ivy. And uh, that's the team. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when my next video is coming out. I also do a monthly uh, contest giveaway on the Gaslands TV Facebook page, so go check it out. And uh, I'm going to announce the April winner. So if you're the person who made this uh, gyrocopter here, this Gaslands TV gyrocopter, uh, message me and I'll send you your prize. If you guys are looking for Gaslands dice um, or even some gates, templates, uh, these are the things I sell on Etsy to help support the channel. And I you know there's some engines, some rams and guns and stuff. So go check out the uh, link in the description. I got containers if you're looking for containers full of bits and pieces and stuff like that. So, um, Or you could try to win them at our Gaslines TV Facebook page. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the uh, comments. I really like seeing uh, when you guys watch the, the, these videos or with who or how you 
how you've learned some stuff from them. So thanks for the comments and uh, I'll see you next time.